Hey taters, it's Tyler. Duh! Okay, so because of where I'm sitting, uh, I can't really fix my light, so like half my eye will just be my light box, but oh well. Also, I might sound a little sick, it's because allergy season has started in North Carolina and it's terrible. It's been consistently like 75 every day, so I've had not a chance to breathe, clearly. I've been taking Flonase, Benadryl, and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, I randomly started taking Claritin, so hopefully something will kick in at some point. But I'm here and I'm alive. I forgot my fan was on. Dang it. Okay, so now I'm going to burn alive. So I have failed you. Duh. I'm terrible at this whole YouTube thing. It has been over a year since I posted a favorites video and I'm sorry. So I realized that the last time that I posted a favorites video, I gotta put this down because I'm just gonna fidget with it. Okay, the last time I posted a favorites video was in February of 2016. And as some of you know, that's when Jeremy and I started dating. So I guess you could say it's fallen to the wayside. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. So I've got a lot of favorites to tell you guys about because I haven't done one of these in so long. So I'm gonna get to it and hopefully this video will not be two hours long. My first favorite, I'm gonna have to show you in pieces because the back of this fell off. Um, we went to Universal in January and it was so much fun, January 2017. And it was so much fun. You know I'm a Potterhead, so I got the tie looking lanyard to hold my little pass. This is what you scan to get in the park along with your thumbprint. And I got the head boy pin, which if any of you guys know Harry Potter, head boy is like one of the they're basically one of the brown nosers, and I'm a brown noser, so duh, got this. Um, the back fell off, it's somewhere in my dresser, don't really know, I'll find it later. Oh well. But I did want to show it to you guys and tell you guys that Universal was definitely one of my favorites. I don't know if I've ever told you guys about Faye yogurt, but this stuff, man oh man it is good. Um, I'm calorie counting again, I've lost like 16 pounds, and I eat this a lot with my lunch because it's... I don't know, 120 calories, which is great for a yogurt, and it's so delicious, it's like dessert. Also, this Faye that I'm using an example of is Faye with cherry pomegranate. Okay, so one of the other things that I absolutely love is coffee, and we all know I love coffee. So, the next item is this, it's called Cool Brew. Basically what you do, I'm gonna try and not get this all over myself. So you fill up this little vessel right here, and you dump this into your coffee cup and fill the rest with wa uh, water or milk. I do milk, duh. And it makes like the best coffee ever. I'm gonna close this because I'm gonna get it on myself. So it's super delicious. Um, the only place that I can get it in my area is Publix. So if you have a Publix in your area, maybe you can get it from there. That's like the reason I started shopping at Publix, not even kidding you. I've been a Harris Teeter guy my whole life, not really, I've been a Harris Teeter guy like for the past like six or seven years, and I love that stuff. So I go to Publix most of the time now. The next thing is an Izzy. Now I don't let myself have these often because there's 120 calories in this and I don't really like to drink my calories that much. But every once in a while for a treat, I really love a sparkling pomegranate Izzy. They're so good. Almost their whole line is good, unless I just don't like that like kind of fruit. Um, but it is wonderful. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. Um, we got these in like a four pack and we drink them occasionally. And I just noticed they're about to go out of date, so we probably better drink these soon. I know this next thing is not good for you, but I was sick a few weeks ago and I was just craving this and I actually have eaten it randomly throughout 2017. Ah, ramen noodles. Why are these so good? I'm sure they're killing me, but they're so good. Especially the chicken tortilla flavor. That's pretty much the only one I eat. But man, oh man, nothing is like a bowl of ramen noodles. This is zero calorie. I can have as much of this as I want. This is polar seltzer water, and I have pomegranate reoccurring theme in my life. Um, I have the pomegranate flavor. I actually prefer these in the cans, and I have tons of cans, but I didn't have any that were like open, so I didn't want to open it, but this was just a good example to show you. Um, pomegranate is probably their best flavor other than vanilla and I'm just obsessed with it. If you are not dr used to drinking sodas, you'll love this. These are 
wonderful if you like bubble waters. And the last food thing is Tiavana teas. Um, Jeremy and I, and I kind of am going to sound like a fraud because we don't do these often, but Jeremy and I became obsessed with collecting Tiavana teas and the tins. So um, this one is one I just got and it is the, oh no, this one's not the one I just got. This is one of Jeremy's lame ones. This one's the Silver Yen Zen Pearl. Um, but I just got this delicious chai and I probably am gonna make one after this. I don't sweeten them because I'm calorie counting and I don't wanna waste the calories on a beverage unless it's one of those Izzy's or coffee. Um, but this tea, no. Their teas are spectacular and you need to try them. If you've never tried them, they always have some samplings at their store. Go check it out at the closest Tiavana near you. You guys are gonna think I am sponsored because of the next products I'm gonna show you. But I can tell you, nobody wants to sponsor my channel. I don't post regularly. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. The Body Shop. I think I've told you guys before about The Body Shop and how much I love them. I'm not really sure. It's been so long since I posted a favorites video. But The Body Shop is absolutely amazing. And I'm going to show you my favorite products from The Body Shop because it's almost exclusively what I use nowadays. This is mm, the Vanilla Chai. They don't have this one out anymore. This was a Christmas fragrance. This is the body butter. And if you want your skin to feel amazing, use this right after you get out of the shower. Just rub it all over your body. So good. Every January to February, I get this weird thing where my skin on my hands just goes crazy and nothing is hydrating enough for it. And this year, Jeremy got me hooked on the Body Shop hand cream. This stuff leaves your hands so soft and so nice. And they come in these little tiny tubes and this is all I've been able to find them in. Um, but it's wonderful. And at the Body Shop, they're regularly $8. Yeah, $8 for this, but it's worth it, I promise. I've been taking even better care of my skin on my face, and so these next four products I'm gonna show you, I use in some combination. I don't use all four every day. Usually it's about three a day. I know that sounds like a lot, but I've just gotten crazy. So I'm gonna show them all to you. The first one is this, the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream. I use this one every day. This is one that does not change. I apply it right under my eyes, and it just, has moisturized my face so much like I don't know how to describe it it's like my skin there was like bumpy before and now it's just smooth and perfect this stuff amazing the next one I'm basically out of I can't even get the little dropper to suck up anymore of it um this is the body shop drops of youth and I tried this out uh probably sometime last year originally and I was really impressed with it. Um, I just didn't want to spend the $38 on it, but I went at some point caved and got it. This stuff, in my opinion, is really good at reversing um, just like old looking skin. I don't know how to put it any better, but this stuff really helped reduce some of the wrinkles I have on my face. And I know you guys are like, you're 28, wrinkles, whatever, but I do have some wrinkles and this has really helped with them. To tag along with that, the Drops of Youth Youth Cream I use almost every day. I use it um, just as my normal face moisturizer. It's really good, as you can tell I love it. Um, it's almost out. And it's just really hydrating. I only have to moisturize pretty much in the morning and it does, it's, it does wonders. The last thing I got because I really wanted to try out a toner and they told me I could use this as a toner. I've been using it for about a week. Um, it's the vitamin, it's the vitamin shop, the body shop, uh, vitamin E hydrating face mist. This stuff is really good. Usually like right after I get out of the shower, I spray it on my face. So it just kind of soaks in as I'm doing whatever else that I put on my eye cream and then whatever else I'm using that day. But this stuff really good. The last body care, uh, is this really body care? I don't know. Health and beauty product is the Pantene number four, I guess, hairspray. The reason I like this is because it does hold your hair decent, um, but the reason I like it is because of the smell, because a lot of, as I touch this, a lot of hairsprays have a really terrible smell, and this one is just wonderful. I don't really know what it smells like. It's kind of sweet. I don't know. It's good. Try it out. 
Sorry. Try it out. I forgot a body care item. Um, you guys know I love EOS. I've always been big into this brand. Um, this is the... I don't even know. What is this one called? This is how crazy I am. I have an unopened one. It's the Blackberry Nectar. This one is so good. I've gone through like three of these already and I have tons of fragrances. Not fragrances. What do you call a lip balm? Do you call it a fragrance or a flavor? Comment down below. Anywho, so I've gone through tons of these. It's probably my favorite of all time. This one's kind of home fragrance and I'm gonna explain it. So this is Bowties and Bourbon, and over the past year, it's probably been one of my favorite fragrances because Jeremy, 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 Jeremy and I started dating last year, and I found out that this was one of his favorite fragrances. And he used it so much that now when I smell it, I just think of like when we first started dating, and it just kind of brings me back. I know it was only a year ago, but just you know those feelings and the butterflies and. Just being so excited. That's what this reminds me of. It's more of a sentimental thing, um, but I love it. And it just smells really good. You guys saw me unopen this in my last video that I posted. And it's my Canon G7X with this cool flip up like thing. I don't know. See? Um, it's, that was an ugly view of myself. Um, it is an investment. I have wanted for a long time. I've actually recorded a few vlogs and I didn't feel good enough about them to post them. I recorded one last Sunday that I feel decent about but I just still haven't posted it. So if you'd like to see that, comment down below and I will maybe get brave enough and post it. I have all the footage, I just haven't posted it. Speaking of which, I have tons of footage that I've never edited but filmed. So there we go. But I am going to post this video because you'll, obviously while you're watching it, you'll know that I posted it. Um, this is, I forgot what this is called, like a Joby something, I don't know, but it's really cool because you can hold it like this and it can be your monopod, or you can like set it however you want it and it can be your tripod, or you can wrap it around stuff because these move. So it's really cool and if you're going to vlog, I highly suggest it because it just makes it easier even if you're just going to use it like this. The next thing that I've really been loving is this little wallet. It's one of those, I'm not even going to open it because it's got all my credit cards in here. Um, but it's one of those like uh, people can't steal your credit card number wallets. And I didn't get it because of that. I got it because it was pineapples. Um, it's just really cute and I love it. Uh, something that Jeremy and I have gotten into over the past year are records. And yes, this is Reba McIntyre's beautiful face. Look at that hair. I'm living for it. Anywho, so we've been collecting them. I've got this one at a consignment shop my friend Patty owns. Um, it was $2 and I think that's a steal. My last favorite is this bad boy. It is giant. It's actually supposed to be, I'm gonna just open this because it makes a lot of noise. So I recently started subscribing to this channel called Sea Lemon. I'm sure everybody's heard of her. She's been making videos for a million years. Uh, but she got me into wanting to doodle. Um, I got a doodle pad. Actually, it's back here. I got a doodle pad and um, I bought some extra pens and I just haven't been brave enough to start. Story of my life. I have a lot of unfinished projects. But it's really cool because you can put, I'm going to take this out because it's just going to fall. Um, you can put all of your pens in it. And like I have some highlighters, just some things to help me doodle. These are felt tip pens. These are jelly roll pens, which I've told myself if I can really get into this, that I'm gonna buy myself a whole set of jelly roll. These are all gel pens, which are great for doodling. And then Sharpies and random markers. Those are actually supposed to be like the paintbrush tip, but they write just like a regular marker. Anywho, so this really cool thing was found on Amazon. I think I paid $17.99 for it. And I thought it was gonna be a little darker of a gray, but it's not. And it's okay because I enjoy it for what it is. So hopefully I'll start doodling. If I do, maybe I'll do a video where I show you guys what I've been doodling. I don't really know. One favorite I forgot to show you guys, and this is just one of my many, is the Ozark Trail Cups from Walmart. I have like, I don't know, eight of these. Um, they keep your, they keep your ice in there for like 24 hours and it's awesome. So you don't have to keep refilling your ice. Um, they're really cool, really practical, and they're really cheap. They're like $9 and they keep your ice cold forever and that's great in a hot state like North Carolina 
where when everybody else it was still snowing, it was 70 degrees. Alrighty, taters, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I sure have enjoyed talking to you guys again and sitting down and just making a video. If you like what I've posted and you are not already, please make sure you subscribe down below. And then also, make sure you check out these links over here. Don't really know what I'm gonna put. It'll be a surprise to you and me. And as always, later taters, love you, mean it, bye.